today's video, I'm gonna share why I purchased this property behind me here, how I was able to purchase this property with a $200,000 upside, and uh, I'll give you a little tour of the existing property, which is an 800 square foot two bedroom bungalow and a 550 square feet garage that has the potential to be created into a separate one bedroom apartment. This property actually consists of a 125 foot frontage and it was already two separate parcels. So when I purchased it, I was able to purchase it separately and keep it that way. There's still some work that needs to be done to convert that existing lot into a building lot. So I'll be going through that process and I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kokun and I'm a real estate investor and I run a real estate team here in the Niagara region that helps investors buy and sell rental properties. If you're interested in learning more, check out our free beginner's guide to creating a legal basement apartment. You can get a copy of that in the link below. All right, so recently I was able to refinance one of the properties that I've owned for quite a while and I was able to sell our multifamily flip in the city of St. Catharines. If you saw one of our previous videos, we showcased uh, the fourplex that we had completely renovated and sold at a profit. I was able to use the proceeds from both those investments to use as a down payment on this purchase. And that's how I was able to purchase this property. So this particular deal came up as I was searching with my urban planner, Lee, for properties like this where we could split the land and basically do a flip to sell the properties. I was particularly interested in this property for myself mainly because of the garage you see behind me. So this garage is around 550 square feet. You can probably park around three cars inside it and it allows the opportunity to create an additional unit, which is great to increase the rental potential of the property. And one of the most unique things about this property is that the previous owner had actually already separated the land that was attached to this property and held it under a different name. We were able to discover that through our due diligence process and we realized, hey, there's already two parcels of land and I was able to deed the land separately from the house. So I bought the house in my name and I bought the land in me and my wife's name so that it doesn't merge on our purchase. So let's break down the numbers on this investment. I actually purchased this property last December for 550,000. My mortgage that I got for this property is $440,000 and I had to come up with about 120,000 for the down payment and the closing costs. Now there are two scenarios that I'm considering with this investment property. I haven't actually decided yet. The first is to do a full renovation of the property, both of the existing two bedroom home and create a legal one bedroom garage suite with the attached garage uh, that's already on this property. That's gonna cost me around $220,000 in terms of a rental budget. Option two is actually to keep it as a single family home do some renovations to the main house, maybe not as high end, maybe keep it somewhere in the 30 to maybe as high as $60,000 range, just refresh this two bedroom home and then rent it as a single family home, maybe break even, maybe be a little bit negative on the cash flow side of things. Uh, so those are the two options that I'm considering. Now, to be honest, this is not a property that I would have purchased if it wasn't for the fact that it came with the additional land and the additional building lot that I'll be able to create. As it stands, the property is not that of a high quality that we typically look for when we look to create a legal basement apartment. Uh, usually we're looking at raised bungalows, back splits, side splits, homes with you know, good bones and a big basement that we can convert into a legal suite at a lower cost. But the reason the rental cost to create that garage suite is so high is because that garage needs to be completely redone. Utilities need to be brought in. So the cost is quite a bit higher for a lower rent, which is what I'm estimating I can get from a one bedroom garage apartment. Now, for those of you interested in the Burr strategy, this is a property that would actually fit that strategy almost perfectly if I were to sell the building lot. I estimate that building lot to be worth around $200,000. So even if I went ahead with a larger renovation budget to make the existing house into a legal duplex, by selling the land and refinancing this existing house to its new value after the work is done, I should be able to pull out all of my initial investment, allowing me to own a property without any of my own money out of pocket. The reason that I'm not going ahead with that, at least right now in terms of selling the land right away, is I've found in the last little bit, land actually appreciates faster than real estate. I've noticed uh, in another property that I own in Welland, that while in that street, the home prices have increased by about 55% over, I think a course of a year and a half, two years, the land values have increased actually by 100%. So even though the dollars are a little bit lower because land, like even right now, the land is $200,000 versus a home would be five, $600,000, right? 
but if you own the property, it will appreciate at a faster rate. The only thing about owning land is that you don't really have a mortgage on land typically. So uh, I have a mortgage on this house. I don't have a mortgage on the land that's attached to it. So if you own real estate free and clear, land may be a better investment. That being said, I'm gonna keep the land. I'm gonna renovate the house and do something to this house to create some income. And then I'll decide you know, whether I go ahead with the garage suite or if I keep it as a single family house. The one opportunity that I see opening up over the next few years in the Niagara region is to actually build purpose-built rental housing. So that's why I'm really excited about buying properties like this where I can get a building lot basically for free and find some way to make the numbers work on the existing house because at some point in the future, whether it's me building a property myself or maybe selling the land to someone who goes ahead and builds uh, a property, these parcels of land I think will be more valuable as time goes on because people may start to build purpose-built duplexes, triplexes, and try to create more rental units. Uh, so I think the value of uh, land in the Niagara region is going to go up over time. So while this is not a perfect property from day one, it's definitely not turnkey and it took quite a bit of expertise from a few different people that I've worked with to know that I can split the land and I can do what I want to do in terms of creating a garage suite. It is a property that I saw a lot of potential with. So even though I didn't have all the ducks in a row and I still am <laughs> yet to decide what my plans are to do with the existing house, I saw the opportunity and I knew that it was time to make a move. So I decided to put an offer last December and we actually got the offer accepted on this property the day before Christmas. And that time of the year, we were the only offer and we actually got a pretty good discount off the list price. It was actually listed for 590,000. We were able to get it for $550,000. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in investing in real estate, especially to create a home that has a legal basement apartment, definitely check out our beginner's guide to creating a legal basement apartment. I'll have the links in the comments below where you can get a free copy. All the best.